Our research uh, concentrates on improving air quality. Uh, we are building tools that can be used both by us and other colleagues around the world to improve uh, air quality in different locations. These tools are of three different kinds. The first are instruments and methods to measure and identify the various pollutants and help us figure out uh, if we have a problem. The second uh, are techniques to help us play the role of a detective, figure you know, what uh, is actually causing uh, the problems. The third type of tools are uh, computational models that simulate what happens uh, in the atmosphere. So these can be used uh, to answer what if uh, questions. For example, what is going to happen in the US if uh, all cars uh, are electric? These are used both by scientists but mainly by policy makers to help them uh, make decisions about uh, what is the best uh, course of action to improve air quality while at the same time keeping uh, the social cost low. We are in the business of uh, producing uh, clean air. Uh, when uh, the tools that we developed are used uh, around the world, uh, if these tools are good, if our research has been successful, people in these places may breathe air that is uh, a little cleaner. Uh, we are quite proud that what we have done so far, our models have been used uh, to make uh, decisions not only in the United States, but also in Canada, in Mexico, uh, in South America, in Europe, in China, even in Australia. And the fact that uh, air quality in all of these places is improving uh, in the United States a lot makes us really proud because we have helped uh, a tiny bit. Our biggest challenge, uh, especially in the United States, but also in Europe right now, is that uh, easy measures have already been taken. Our cars are a lot cleaner, heavy industry is a lot cleaner. And now the problems are actually caused uh, by individual people. And this is a, a really tough problem because it goes uh, beyond, uh, beyond science. And this is wha where our work in engineering and public policy becomes uh, quite relevant.